Next, we're shining our spotlight on the deep, dark history of Black Star Canyon. Join us as we venture into the world of the paranormal with OC Ghosts and Legends Tours. We channeled our inner Blair Witch Project and geared up to explore the urban legends of Black Star Canyon. We didn't know exactly what we had gotten ourselves into, but we were ready. You ready, Mira? I'm ready. Are you sure? I'm ready to go. We're here. <laughs> okay. No turning back now. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're something straight out of Blair Witch Project. Yeah, we were just talking about that. <laughs> After a little preparation, the sun finally went down and it was time to begin our journey. All right, we're here with Chris, owner and operator of OC Ghosts and Legends Tours. How are you doing? Doing great, how are you? It's nice to see you again. It's great to be back, thanks. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about why Black Star Canyon is such a popular place for ghost tours and paranormal activity? Well, uh, you know, Black Star, uh has countless legends here. Um, it's one of Orange County's most notorious paranormal hotspots. The daunting history of Black Star Canyon has kept many people away, but we were ready to explore and learn more about the legends. All right, well, we're ready to go if you are. Let's go. All right, let's do it. First, Chris introduced us to some important technology. This is called the K2 meter. You guys may recognize this from a lot of TV shows. Um, we utilize this in, in the majority of our investigations. Um, it is believed that we are able to communicate uh, with spirits via uh, EMF, which is electromagnetic fields. Uh, so you'll see that it's going to be pretty much on a baseline, which right. is going to be the first green light, and it's always going to stay that way while it's on. But uh, you know, anything that's you know above the third light. So when it gets to the red, that's pretty significant. It could be something that's darting through here. It could be something that's standing here. It could be an entity that's screaming at you and trying to talk to you. There's, there's no telling. Uh, but we will also use these during an, uh, an EVP session. Oh, that's really triggering. We started receiving some pretty strong feedback, so we decided to reach out. Is there a man uh, present with us right now? Light that up. Yes? I think it is a yes. After experiencing our very first official interaction with the unknown, we continued on our journey. The great thing about Black Star is we kind of considered a, a triple threat out here. Right. So what I mean by that is outside of having potential spiritual activity and ghosts and spirits, um, we also over the years have had reports of possible, and I use this lightly, um, of possible Sasquatch sightings. Wow. You know, this, we are, you know, venturing here into the uh, Cleveland National Forest. So there's no telling what is out here. Um, also, when we're out here in the early morning hours or even on a tour, I can't even begin to tell you the weird things we have spotted in the sky. Now, I'm not saying it's aliens, but. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, this place has everything, man. We got everything here. Next, we stopped at a famous tree in the canyon, a location where many have reported seeing apparitions in photographs. So, I took a few myself, and although mine didn't reveal anything supernatural, many photos previously taken by Orange County Ghosts and Legends tourists have contained very strange shapes and figures. Nevertheless, we decided to try our luck with the meter again. Once in a while, something will start to interact, and when it does, we'll start to uh, ask some questions and see if we can solicit any kind of response. So that's usually the goal. But when we don't get any hits, we just keep on moving. We moved on from the tree, and Chris discussed the details behind commonly heard strange sounds. What are some of the voices and sounds that you have witnessed here? Yeah, there's definitely a, you know, a common uh, idea that most of the things we capture are only on audio, but we do hear things that, you know, are in real time. So, you know, we've heard uh, recently a sound of an accordion, mm. uh, and it happens just for a couple seconds. It's very random. Uh, we hear tribal drums out here, and we definitely hear conversation that takes place in the bushes. You know, you can't make out what it is, but there's definitely some kind of uh, mumbling or a uh, it's very limited, but there are times when maybe a couple people will hear it, maybe one person will hear it, and maybe sometimes uh, 
not maybe sometimes, but uh, sometimes everybody hears it. It's not unusual for just one person to experience or witness something strange in the canyon. And Chris shared with us a unique story of his own. At this point, it was about in the middle of the road. We're walking in and I spot something. One, two, three. And wow. it just disappeared over here. And the, the significant detail that I, I remember from this uh, experience that I had is that it had very long, thin arms. Wow. I'll never forget it. That story stuck with us as we headed over to the canyon's next paranormal hotspot, the mine. But this is the mine. Again, this was a uh, Black Star is named after the Black Star Coal Mining Company, uh, going back to, I believe, uh, 1879. Although the mine itself doesn't carry any particular legends, an area nearby surely does. And just up ahead, I, I believe that there is some kind of entity over there that has a particular distaste for women. Mm. Not that it's, you know, All right. not that it's... <laughs> suit up, get not ready. That, not that it threatens or hurts anybody, right. but uh, I kind of run experience, experiments and have some of the ladies in the group stand over where we have these incidents and we'll hear um, groans or, or low growls wow. in the bushes, uh, what sounds like rocks being thrown. Even though I decided not to test that theory, Orange County Ghosts and Legends tours provided a very unique experience perfect for any brave soul looking to explore the unknown. Well, that just about wraps it up for this episode of Pacific Coast Spotlight. We'd like to thank everyone at Too Sweet, OC Ghosts and Legends Tours, and Modology for stepping into our spotlight. I'm Miera Jennings, and we'll see you next time.